Hi, today I'll show you the mesh tool. Now the mesh tool is pretty simple. We'll open up our inventory, we'll go to Resonate Essentials, Tools, and then in the purple section we have this weird green thing. Now this is the mesh tool. Just like any other tool of its type, we can simply equip it and then point at something and press secondary, just like with the color tool, and then it'll sample the object we're pointing at. Then we point at another object, like for example this sphere over here, and press primary, and it'll turn it into the object that we actually are trying to apply. This is a behavior that is luckily mimicked on most tools that do this kind of stuff, where they sample something and then apply something. Now, once we have a mesh reference here, we can pop it out by clicking eject orb, or manually taking it out. There's currently no way to actually put this orb back in without manually doing it with your hand, but this might change in the future. Now, if you go back into the context menu, we can also edit the mesh. So this will just pop open the inspector for the mesh specifically, be it a skinned mesh if you're referencing a skinned mesh in here, a static mesh if you're referencing a static mesh in here, or any of the procedural mesh types as you can see here. Now one thing to keep in mind here is that unless you're using a mesh collider, I don't think this ever actually updates the collision. So if, for example, we make a little box, 3D model box, and we select it and open in the inspector, and then equip our tool here again and click. Oh, actually, we, don't, we, don't, we are not sampling a sphere yet. Let's get a sphere, sample a sphere, and then click onto that box. You'll see that the sphere is there physically, but the problem here is that if you go in here, it still has a box collider. So if you visualize that, this is what its collision bounds are. So we have to remove that. And on top of that, we have to remove up here the box mesh. Now this only applies to primitives because if we go to attach and then physics and we get a colliders mesh collider as an example, we'll now have a collider that matches the sphere. And if we grab a cube like this and apply that, it will actually update the reference in the mesh collider properly to reference a new mesh. So just keep in mind if you're using this tool with the primitives that there will be some stuff left over and some manual things you have to tweak if you want them to be perfect. Otherwise, I hope that you liked this video. I hope this helps you. Leave a like if you liked it. Any suggestions down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.